As uh, brutal as Mortal Kombat oh, is, yeah. there, the, the element of humor is also very present yeah. in, in what the game oh. is. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Hello everyone, welcome to a very special episode of PlayStation Underground. You got Tim here, and I'm joined by an incredibly special guest, Ed Boone. This is co-creator of the Mortal Kombat series and creative director at NetherRealm Studios. Ed, thanks for joining us for a look at Mortal Kombat 11. My pleasure. I'm uh, really excited to show you this um, really cool stuff coming. I'm personally a huge fan, longtime fan of the Terminator, and we yeah. have some really cool stuff to show off with um, Terminator Dark, Fight, Dark Fate on the horizon. Absolutely. Um, so we're going to jump into a training match and kind of see, um, you know, the new character and the move set and get to know him a little bit. Uh, and at the controls here, we have Aaron Pipigurdis, who is the executive producer on the game. So thanks for driving for us there, Absolutely. Aaron. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's dive right in. So um, impressively, uh, I remember seeing the the trailer where uh, Terminator was first revealed and kind of walked out from the darkness and stuff. Um, can you tell me a little bit, just sort of like your perspective on what it's like to have the Terminator in Mortal Kombat 11? Absolutely. You know, um, Mortal Kombat, the, the very first Mortal Kombat game was really, I always describe it as, um, it's the result of a team who grew up on action films. Yeah. And so a lot of our characters have you know, inspiration have been drawn from, you know, big action movies, you know, and Terminator's absolutely yeah. one of them, you know. So over the years we've had, you know, a bunch of guest characters. And to me, uh, the Terminator is almost like the culmination yeah. of everything build up um, from the creation of Mortal Kombat. It's it's a dream come true for our team as far as, you know, having, you know, one of the most iconic, recognizable action stars in our game. Yeah, of course. And like you know, seeing him, you know, in the world, like he fits in thematically with with Mortal Kombat so well. Um, and I think that part of that, you know, personally, oh, there he is. Um, he, oh, he's got the shotgun. That's yeah. incredible. So that's yeah. a, a perfectly natural fit. Um, but yeah, he fits in so well. And I'm excited to see some of his moves here and sort of how he, he carries himself in combat. Um, very slow and deliberate, heavy hitting moves. Yeah, he's, he's uh, you know, all of the, um, you know, he's always been this big brawler type guy, you know, he, the, the shock and all these yeah. things that are kind of very like iconic um, to the Terminator, uh, we've really tried to incorporate into the game. And, you know, it's it's great because, you know, he's got this, this dark fate look, yeah. which is like, you know, a little bit more grizzled. Um, yeah, exactly. A little bit more um, seasoned, I yeah. guess you could say. And uh, but we also have a, a younger version uh, yeah. in the game, so it's it's great just to uh, you know once again, it's just such a, a dream come true for our team. Yeah, absolutely. I think one thing you know from a fan perspective of just being a longtime you know Terminator fan and a fan of the Mortal Kombat series is uh, what I love about both of them is they have this rich lore and these in these incredible characters and. Mm -hmm. There could be these really serious, dramatic moments, but there's also this sort of, you know, ridiculous, over-the-top nature to both of them. Yes, absolutely. Where, where you just kind of have to laugh and like, is this actually happening? Yeah. Um, and you know, rocket launches are going off, or you know, you're you're fighting uh, across time in Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, so yeah, I mean, time travel being an element in Mortal Kombat 11, that's yeah. like peanut butter and jelly with Terminator. Yeah, yeah. And and in addition is you oh, know uh, a big part of the Terminator is. You know, the Terminator and you know Sarah Connor has always been a, a very integral part yeah. to, the, to the to the Terminator story, and so you know we have this amazing uh, like cyborg hunter uh, skin for Sonya, um, That's awesome. who, who honestly you know at, at, you know Sonya was in in inspired by you know the Sarah Connor character you know so so it was it was something that from the very first Mortal Kombat game you know again heavy influenced by action movies and you know we were always big fans of of the Terminator so that's Sony incredible. had inspiration and, and we kind of brought it full circle with uh, this uh, Cyborg Hunter skin. There's a really interesting, yeah, speaking to Sonya specifically, like there's a really interesting parallel there because obviously Sarah as a character in the Terminator universe really evolved and rose to meet the challenges of the world yeah, and like this yes. terribly unpredictable, like unforgiving world. And, you know, we've also seen Sonya evolve a lot and take on a lot of responsibility and leadership. Yeah. 
with yeah. the special forces, and um, that parallel has been really fun to watch as a fan. Absolutely, and and I again, you know, we we drew um, inspiration from that, and it's so cool to see um, you know the the two characters together fighting. You know, again, we we've we've always had been big fans of these kind of. Um, Cool moments, you know, merging of kind of pop culture things. Yeah. You know, Mortal Kombat, Terminator. We've done that with other action movies, and so uh, this is uh, just a great, you know, we're all just kind of celebrating at this point. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and speaking of, of celebration, I would love if we can take a peek at what his fatal blow may be. I know they can be so splashy and uh, and over the top, and they they are definitely one of my my favorite parts of of Mortal Kombat 11 specifically. Um, and also just a really good opportunity, I feel like, to show off the personality of the characters yeah, yeah. that comes through because I feel like, you know, most of the time I, I was waiting for the big payoff of the fatality and the, the fatal blows just sort of integrate mechanically a way to shift the tides of battle, but also to show off a little bit more of the, the, the character's personality as well. We need to jump into a regular match here. So. Okay, yeah, let's back out and um, maybe maybe take uh, the fight against uh, a computer-controlled uh, AI opponent here, um, and maybe we can keep the fight against, uh, against Sonya there. Um, one thing that was immediately on my mind when uh, the Terminator was first revealed to be part of Mortal Kombat 11 was like, my mind just started reeling, and it's, it's okay, well, Mortal Kombat's about, like, you know, in part dismembering characters and these outrageous fatalities and beheading and, and all of this uh, really uh, over-the-top stuff, but you know, Terminator. He's got a metal endoskeleton yeah, underneath yeah. him and really fascinated like how that sort of fits in. How does that fit into the, um, you know, the way that these moves and fatalities and stuff play out with Terminator? Yeah, we, we, we gave him, you know, he has, he's an endoskeleton yeah. underneath that, you know, and, and he also has a, a really cool um, kind of mode that he goes into when he's, when he's defeated, he, you know, Transforms into this endoskeleton form, oh. and and has a completely different um, nice. mode where you know he has armor on, and he's kind of like that whole marching, you know, unstoppable uh, force. That's incredible. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's a really cool uh, part of it too. And uh, you know, when you do a crushing blow on him, if you hit him in the head, you see the endoskeleton underneath that. As opposed to oh, instead of the yeah, yeah, that's yeah. incredible. So, so we, we, you know, the attention to detail that. Our art team and the design team and uh, everybody has who's worked on them has been incredible. You know, again, it's this is this is a group of developers who just grew up on and love the Terminator. So yeah, so doing this was like you know just so much fun as far as um, just getting as authentic as yeah. possible. Yeah, and that love like absolutely shines through through everything that we see with him here. From you know the detail of actually capturing like Arnold Schwarzenegger's likeness to just how his move set matches the character. Like even yeah. the way he's guarding there, he's like barely yeah. he barely needs to do anything because he's the Terminator. He yeah. can withstand. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's something that really excited me. So it's so fun to see. And obviously, yeah, NetherRealm has this history of of being detail oriented with, especially as the series progressed and and keeping this. Uh, from the X-ray, you know, vision for the fatal blows to um, to match what the character is all about. Yeah. Um, do you have any feedback on what kind of player, you know, you have in mind, or what kind of play style you might have in mind for for someone who's considering Terminator? Our our um, our QA team feels like he's the ultimate zoning character. Okay. Yeah. Which which you know, I, I guess you 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 would probably think that he's more of like this brawler, but you know, he has. You know, a lot of uh, kind of like space advantage moves. You know, he actually has a teleport, which uses you know the bubble oh, from uh, from that that iconic kind of way yeah. of traveling. And and his fatality. You know, one of them you know transfers the uh, the opponent into like that Terminator land. Here's oh, this, uh, here we go. Blow here. The we thumbs little, up, yeah, incredible. You know, yeah. And he actually yells, "Get over here!" When he pulls her in. He so does. Kinda, yeah. So we're kinda, oh like, man, merging the two together. That's incredible. So it's, uh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're uh, just the way he he's just swinging uh, characters around like they're nothing. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It's, and and that little nod where he kind of like gives a little thumbs up and like almost like a smile. Yeah. You know, that 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 kind of, that, that's part of what you know. Terminator is, is there's there's a little hint of humor to yeah. it, as well as the seriousness. Yeah. I mean, that mix of it is like, you know, we're 
were trying to kind of and capture. Like, again, one of the reasons that it fits so well within Mortal Kombat as a series is just there's a wink in there um, from time to time just letting you know that, like, hey, this is this is so much fun and ridiculous and we have to sort of stop to acknowledge yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, you know, as, 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 as uh, brutal as Mortal Kombat oh, is, yeah. there, the element of humor is also very present yeah. in, in what the game is. Oh. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, so there's some pretty brutal uh, quality um, there too. Well, you have to you have to laugh in in, in some scenarios like that because it's just wow. All right, so we talked a little bit previously about the endoskeleton within the Terminator here, and uh, it would be great to try to take a, a closer look at that. Um, and we mentioned so if both if the Terminator sustains some battle damage when he's down around, um, we're gonna try to to see his endoskeleton basically yeah he goes into this completely different mode um you know basically he, he still takes damage but he doesn't react to it so it looks like he's just absorbing hits and that kind of plays well with you know the idea of terminator just kind of slowly stalking his unstoppable his, his, his yeah, yeah exactly and so it's uh, the real oh here we go like the slow stand up oh and it just everything melts off you know, oh, he moves. And wow. like if you, if you kick him or punch him or something like that, he doesn't react to it. So it's, you know, he's oh, got this he big just thing. So you just gotta it. That's do incredible. what you can to get as much uh, damage out of there. Oh, I love that so much. What a good detail. Yeah. It would have been incredible even if it was just the aesthetic, but like just the fact that he shrugs it off. Yeah. Um, that was really cool. I love that detail. All right. So you're gonna give Terminator a shot? I, I'm gonna give it a go. Okay. And I it's not gonna look as good as what, what you just did, um, but I think it's, it's, I have to try it, so. Um, oh, we have a variation here. Um, let's give it a go. I like the shades. It's a good style. Uh, Ed, do you have a part of the, this, this, you know, of NetherRealm's execution of the Terminator that is sort of your favorite little detail about incorporating the, the character into the universe? You know, I think the, um... The nuance of, of the fighting mechanics and all the individual moves is, is, is great. And like, you know, our designers just go to town with that stuff. Uh, a big part of the fun is, is things like the fatalities, yeah. the big cinematic moments, the, the, fatal, the fatal blow, as you saw, you know, just those little nods to, you know, the definition of what Term Terminator yeah. is, are, are, is a big part of the fun. Uh, for me as well. Ooh, I love the, he pulls out like a, an Uzi or something there and, and for the close range incorporation of, of his arsenal. Yeah, he has, he has, you know, the shotgun and the Uzi and he's, um, you know, it's, it's all those kind of like, kind of iconic uh, weaponry that he's always had. One thing that I think is interesting too, um, just in fitting it in with the Mortal Kombat 11 uh, storyline is that, you know, the, the Terminator has, has aged, like his, you know, his organic outer skin has aged uh, within the, the universe, but I feel like a big theme of Mortal Kombat 11 is also uh, characters aging and sort of yeah. confronting like the passage of time, yeah. um, which yeah. I feel like is kind of a fun sort of parallel. Yeah, we, ha we have, you know, it's, it's great because we have, you know, uh, the older version of Terminator and a younger version, and, you know, Mortal Kombat 11 is all about that, you know, older, versions of characters meeting their younger versions yeah. of characters. And so um, that part just kind of fit in really nicely as far as, you know, fitting him into that that mold that we created with Mortal Kombat 11. And then has the uh, side effect and the byproduct of making me feel quite a bit older, because uh, I just remember being a wee lad and falling in love with uh, Terminator and, and Mortal Kombat at the same time, around the same time. Um, but I do really, I have to say that I really love Sonya's outfit. It's such a natural fit. I mean, she's... It, it, it's like, it matches so well with the universe. Um, yeah, again, it was like a, a truly full circle moment, you know. Uh, Sonya Blade, you know, again, having drawn some inspiration from Sarah Connor, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we, right off the bat, when we when we knew we were gonna do Terminator, we, we said we have to give Sonya a skin that is, you know, like a, you know, we call it the Cyborg Hunter, and, you know, that reference to uh, the, uh, the classic iconic, uh, look that was uh, from 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 Terminator. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, before I completely flub this, um, seeing if there's an opportunity here. It is in the boost list. Okay. Um, so hit X and then uh, R1 over finishers. Okay. All so right. Back toward back square. Aaron, do you want to give it a go? <laughs> uh, no, no pressure, well, sure, no pressure whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. No pressure whatsoever. It shouldn't be too hard back toward back square. 
There you go. Oh, incredible. I'm so excited. Oh, the, oh, the <laughs> motorcycle. Amazing. And he finishes her off. Oh, my God. What an amazing fatality. Yeah. It's that uh, iconic moment, the camera angle, the, you know, it's it's like a, just framed so uh, I love ridiculously that. outrageous. Yeah, he's, he, yeah, he's, it's framing the yeah, Terminator, yeah, like, dead yeah, center yeah, there. Yeah, that was uh, no pun intended. Is, uh, man, that's incredible. It's like, where do you begin with fatalities, you know? Um, there's so many options when it comes to there something like that. There were way more ideas than we were we could possibly have done. Yeah. There was just a, a flood of ideas from the team um, doing that. So um, the hardest part was just kind of deciding which ones we're not going to do. Definitely. Yeah. Um, Aaron, do you want to just hop in and we can, <laughs> we can finish up by just uh, a little bit of the additional training mode as we just sure. sort of wrap things up here. But um, yeah, I mean, regarding, you know, Dark Fate and the this uh, this version of the Terminator, the, the T eight hundred being in Wakanda eleven. You know anything else um, that you want to make sure that uh, that fans know about? You know what to expect from this character and well, as as with um, all of the characters in Mortal Kombat um, eleven, is there's going to be a ton of customization and you know uh, gear pieces, costume pieces to really kind of. Um, customize your version of, of Terminator, which is cool. It, it, it's, 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 I can't wait for people to see the different jackets and, and, and you know, sunglasses and, and, and um, weapons that, that you can unlock in the game yeah. and get. So it's, it's, it's so many uh, nods to just the history of Terminator and just like all the stuff that people kind of associate with. Yeah. This is going to work. We've, as, as huge fans of our, our, you know, from the team, we've just poured all of that into the game. And it shows in things like these, the quips between the, um, between Sony and Terminator and these intros, and it, it, it oozes love and authenticity for, for the, the, the franchise. Yeah. Um, so, Ed and Aaron, thank you so much for, for joining me for this look at World Combat 11 and the, the Terminator DLC. So, uh, as I understand it, um, at this point, um, you can actually get early access to the Terminator character if you have the combat pack yep. as of now. And we yeah. also have a, a free trial coming out for Mortal Kombat 11 that's going to be kicking off on October 11th through the 14th. So you get a chance to not only try out a bit of the story mode, but also like the Terminator's included in that free trial, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's um, it's 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 anybody who wants to check out Terminator and Mortal Kombat will be able to. That's that's what's so exciting. What more it. can you ask for? Yeah, not, not much more. He's back. Yeah. Uh, so thanks everybody for watching this episode of PlayStation Underground. Take care. Thank you.